Mahara allows us to create our personal digital portfolio. In this video, we'll see how to do it and learn about its characteristics. A portfolio is a location in which to have organised all of our personal achievements, skills, experience, hobbies, studies, etc. These can be shared and used in the future. In the profile, you can fill in the basic information about yourself, like personal information, your contact information, your social networks and your work. In this tab, you can upload one or more of your profile photos. Then, you'll have to select the one that suits you as a profile picture among all uploads. In this tab, you can perform all types of management on your files. You can upload files, delete them and organise them in folders. The Journal tab is similar to a real journal. On this page, you can add entries with text and attachments. These files are taken from the Files menu that we spoke about earlier. The Resume tab acts as a curriculum with the data in its document. Filling in this information is important so that you can use it later. Mahara divides the curriculum into personal data, studies, work experience, achievements, goals and skills and interests. The Plans tab helps us to introduce our projects and plans for the future. Within a plan you can assign smaller tasks with name, description and deadline for completion. Here you can see and manage all of the notes you've been creating. This page will be filled automatically with the notes that you will make later in another menu and we'll see that in a few moments. In this tab you can make a European Curriculum Vitae or Europass. Some of the information will be automatically filled in with the data that you've entered in previous tabs. To create a page, click on the Create Page button. This page must specify data prior to editing, such as the title of the page, its description, labels and the author's name. To save the fields, click Save when finished. On this page, you must select a template from the choices. Once selected, it must be saved with the Save button. You can experiment with different templates until you make sure you've got the most appropriate one for your page. On this page, you can add content to the template you've selected. You can take advantage of the data entered when making your resume or writing your plans. The data is already written and you just have to fill in the template by dragging and dropping the blocks into the position they should be. You can place images, PDFs, journal or journal entries, CV fields. Each block has its small configuration.
Here, you can group the pages that have been created into collections. It's interesting to create collections because this way permissions and preferences can be assigned when sharing multiple pages, facilitating the management task when the volume of pages is especially large. In this tab, you can set the sharing permissions of each of the collections or pages. You can share them with friends, groups, institutions or individual users. It can be shared by collections or page by page. To modify the sharing permissions, click on the edit access of the page or collection that you want. In this tab, you can see all the pages that have shared with you. In a page that you have shared, you can enhance comments and even attach files. When importing a portfolio, the only supported format is Leap 2A. Exporting a portfolio can be selected if you want a final HTML or Leap 2A file. The latter will be the only one that will allow subsequent import. You can select whether you want to export some pages, some collections or all pages. Groups are a way to organise users to facilitate the sharing of pages and collections. We can create our own groups or join existing groups. My group tells us which groups we belong to. Find Groups takes you to a page with a group finder where we can search by name or even create ours. Friends can also be a way to streamline the process of sharing pages and collections. In these two pages, we can check our list of current friends or search among other users to send a friend request. My Friends shows us our list of friends. Find Friends is a user finder to whom we can send a friend request. In this page, we can see a list of the institutions to which we belong. On this page, you can see or participate in conversations that already exist, take part in discussions, forums and ask questions.